you know when you make that yummy sound like you're eating something really sweet and you're enjoying it and you're going mm, mm, you know like come here today is going to be extra spicy so get ready okay we will be talking about the expert way to go down on your baby girl okay so make sure you watch this video until the end because it promises to be very simplified very interesting and very educative at the same time so welcome welcome back to my channel it's a girl ij and this is real talk with ij so let us jump straight into this video the very first thing that i need you to do when you want to go down and pleasure your baby girl is make sure that you get her very comfortable she needs to be very comfortable she needs to be very relaxed and safe as you know what you're about to do is like like the biggest intimacy physical intimacy so like you need her to be like very comfortable relaxed except you don't want her to reach the big o but if you want her to reach the big o you definitely need to make sure that she's comfortable so if she if you want to do it with her sitting down make sure she's sitting down on the on the chair that is comfortable that she'll be able to relax and enjoy what you're about to do if she's going to be on the bed make sure that it's comfortable enough for her to lie down you can decide to put a pillow on the around her, her back okay on her lower back you can decide to put a pillow just to elevate her a little and to make sure that she's lying down very very comfortable and apart from like the physical comfort make sure that she feels safe around you like she is relaxed she's now vulnerable with you so maybe if she needs to take some alcohol give her some alcohol if you guys need to chit chat if you need to talk dirty all of those things to make her relaxed and you know anticipate what's about to happen secondly you also need to get comfortable because i see some of you just get tired after two minutes because you're not comfortable it's either your hands tapping you maybe the way you are holding her or your mouth get tired or your tongue gets tired because you're not really comfortable you know with the position that you're using so you also need to choose a position that is comfortable for you so if she's sitting down and you want to be kneeling down while you're doing it you can put a pillow on your knees and knee, you can put the pillow on the floor and kneel on the pillow so that you don't feel pain from kneeling on the on the bare floor on tiles or on the rug so you can put another pillow and kneel down on the pillow okay if you just something to make yourself comfortable so definitely you know the position you want to do you know the position you guys want to be in just make sure that as you're trying to make her comfortable that you are also comfortable so that you don't get tired before the real thing even starts another step you should take while you're in the you know, position of getting yourself and herself comfortable is make sure that what posi whatever position you guys are taking that you're taking a position that her legs will be you know spread this way so that it will be easier for you to see all of the flower and you know see clearly to eat all of it up okay so don't get a position where her legs are like this and you're struggling to look for what you're supposed to be playing with so make sure her legs are like open you put her in a that's why i said get into a comfortable position both you and your girl so make sure that if her legs are going to be hanging on something make sure she's comfortable and she's not going to start having like muscle pulls and you know muscle strain just you know from hanging and you know how her legs starts feeling uncomfortable yeah you don't want to put her in a position where two minutes she's already in pain so put her in a position where her legs are wide open but they are also very comfortable at the same time except she's someone who doesn't like legs spread open then definitely find out the position that she prefers and make sure she's in that position another thing i need you to be aware of when you're trying to go down and do all of the pleasuring is you need to be patient okay you need to be very patient there's no hurry there's no hurry women are a little different from men for a lot of you men you can just go in and out two minutes and you are done but for women they need to be like there's a way a woman's mind works she needs to be completely in the space to reach the big o and a lot of times women we are just all of it all up in our heads thinking about everything at the same time so you need to be patient okay you need to be patient don't be in a hurry you don't just go and you swallow everything up no you need to be a little bit patient it's going to take a little a little longer than expected a lot of times so don't be in a hurry while you're doing everything then you start getting uncomfortable that's why you need to also put yourself in a position where you don't get tired your mouth don't get tired easily your tongue don't get tired easily your hands don't get tired easily so you just need to relax basically like there's no rush in this it's going to take a while it's not going to be a two minutes thing 
it's going to take a while and i need you to be prepared for that and while you're using your mouth and doing everything down there don't forget her other erogenous zones don't, don't forget her other the other parts of her body that are sweet the sweet spot okay don't forget the, the boobs don't forget the nips okay don't forget the inner thighs don't forget to play with every other part of her body that is sensitive because a lot of times while you're there with your mouth and doing everything you forget that your hands can be on the other places and also teasing her now a lot of women who have like a double uh, kind of big o if you are trying to give her a nip orgasm at the same time while you're trying to use your mouth to stimulate her honey pot okay so definitely make sure you don't forget her other parts okay she has other parts on her body all right so while you're doing whatever you're doing there make sure your hand is moving in the you know the cleavage area you're grabbing all of the lady belts and you know you are grabbing her big nyash and you know just make sure your hands are also doing other things and you're not just there doing one thing doing one thing like if you're not going to be using your hands to caress other part of her body make sure that you tell her to do whatever pleasures her or you take her hands and put on her body and let her do it herself some women are into that so that's why i said she needs to be comfortable before you guys start it so that she can also help you out to help her get the big o like i said earlier you need to start slow whatever that has to do with pleasure whatever that has to do with achieving the big o for women you definitely need to start slow you can't go from 100 to like zero it's never going to work so you have to start from zero 10 20 30 you have to keep building it up gradually okay that's where all of the you know all of the touching other parts of her body touching her inner thighs using your hand to play with the nips all of those things are the little little drops of water that will make the big ocean when it's time okay so you definitely need to start slow in whatever you're doing down there now when it's time to stimulate the main c area i need you to make sure that you're doing it in the most gentle way then again you need to understand your partner women are different from women why some women prefer you to lick other women prefer you to suck so you need to try one one or two you need to try this and that and try to get a reaction from her or you know pay attention to her body to know what exactly she likes okay for some women they need you to use your tongue to do the up and down motion okay so if this is the the cleats okay they need you to use your tongue to do this up and down on it why some women prefer you to go left and right on it okay why others want you to suck on it so while you're if you're doing the sucking you need to be careful because you don't want to like pull it out you're not trying to pull it out okay so make sure that you're sucking gently but definitely pay attention to your woman and also you can do the three combo you can do the up and down you can do the left and right and you can also do the sucking and you know all of those things might even make it harder for your woman to choose which one works best but whatever one you're doing at the point where she tells you not to stop and that she likes that one more make sure you keep it make sure you keep the same tempo make sure you do not change and also if you're going to be trying the up and down left and right or if you're going to be doing the suction method i advise that you do them you know you give you you do them for like at least a full 30 seconds before you change into something else don't just do it like one two three one two three one two three no okay make sure you do it for a while and see if it's building enough tension in her body to give her that big o because if you don't pay attention to your woman's body you're going to ruin it for her every single time so if you're going to be changing the style make sure that it's just at the beginning time you're really switching it up but if you're doing a particular one and you can see that she's grabbing and pulling and pinching and you know she's stretching just keep on doing that one a lot of women who are very vocal will verbally tell you baby suck or baby leak baby you know so you have to do all of that another thing you shouldn't forget if you're trying to go down to give your woman the maximum satisfaction is don't forget the lips okay yes you know the the thick lips that covers everything you yeah, don't forget it a lot of women like it when women suck on it or lick on it and all of that like it's not just about the you know the big c it's also about the entire lips a lot of women like you to play with it use your tongue to flicker also around it put all of them in your mouth kind of like eat it up like a snail that's what some women are into so definitely make sure that you don't ignore the lips okay and focusing only on the c because the lips also have all of those nerve endings that will give your woman a very big mind-blowing you know big o 
another thing that is very important for you to note and by the way doing all of this you definitely need to be paying attention to your woman's body you know when you're like changing the style and licking all of the big lips you need to watch your woman's body if she's giving out more sound if she's grabbing you more then you have to keep doing it definitely in everything that has to do with pleasuring anybody you need to pay attention to the person's body because like i said in my previous video not every sound is a pleasure sound some sounds it's pain okay so you need to be sure that you're listening and you understand what she's enjoying and what she's not enjoying another big one that you need to pay attention to or another big one that you need to start doing if you're not doing it is you need to let out some sounds okay the sound is a big one for a lot of women and i don't see a lot of people talking about it even here on youtube but you see that sound you make when you're down there like the sucking sound you know that she wants to hear that sound a lot of women wants to hear the sound of your mouth and her honey pot you know that wet sound a lot of women are into that and it makes them you know there's this extra feeling it makes them you know they get you know and also when you're like doing it and you're like hmm you know when you make that yummy sound like you're eating something really sweet and you're enjoying it and you're going hmm hmm you know like when you're really enjoying it that's why i'm like you need to start making sounds okay apart from you doing the whole yummy i'm enjoying what i'm eating sound you need to also make let her hear the sound of a honey pot and your lips you know all of the wetness giving you that kind of sound just like how some people like to hear the sound when you know some people some women really like get more aroused when they hear the sound when you guys are doing the do it's exactly the same sound that they want to hear when you're down there like it's not going to sound as intense as this but definitely she's going to hear the you know when you're sucking something they chuk, chuk, chuk. i don't want to do that that's crazy but like you can hear <laughs> that kind of sound because of all of the wetness and you know maybe, maybe you're sucking and all of that she wants to hear that and definitely she wants to hear you make those yummy sounds because those are the sounds that will make her know that you are enjoying what you're doing so she needs to enjoy what she's receiving I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you want me to do more videos like this feel free to drop your comment in the comment section and i will go in depth on any topic that you want me to talk about thank you guys so much for subscribing so far thank you for also clicking on the link to my website i've seen a lot of you have downloaded my ebook about 120 of you guys thank you so much and sorry for the delay the next ebook is coming up this new week okay so don't crucify me yet all right so I'll, I'll see you next time if you're not yet subscribed please make sure you subscribe before you leave i will see you in my next video Keep living life, keeping champs, and bye for now. Mwah.